Hello, yeah, it's Robbie again. Uh, I'm doing a bit of brazing today, hard bronze brazing. So uh, I thought I'd just give you a, a quick look at how I do this particular job. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to join these two pieces of metal together. Now, I mean, uh, you could do it with arc welder or electric welder, but you never get a nice as neat a job as you're going to get by doing it with bronze. So in this particular case, I've machined a relief and that enables that to clip together and this puts a nice clean edge on it. And on the back, uh, where we'll be doing our brazing, because this will bolt against um, another item, um, to braze like that as it is isn't any good. What you have to do is you have to machine an angle, a depression, in the very edge of the tube so that by doing that, that will give a, a cavity around the edge. Um, it'll form a, a cavity all the way around into which the, you can just run your, <clears throat> your bronze and that'll make a nice clean job. But then after you've after you've uh, done your brazing, you just put it in the chuck and just face off the back of the plate and you've got a nice neat job and from the outside there'll be no welding visible whatsoever. So we'll do it, we'll put a chamfer on the uh, on the tube. Right, this is all pretty plain sailing. All we're going to do is we're going to use the, the facing cutter to uh, Just put an edge off, take the edge off, uh, off that bit of tube. And we'll just chamfer on that and we'll put it together now if you look at it you can see there's a depression all the way around it doesn't have to be massive it's just got to be enough to take a bead of a uh, bronze you should be able to just run your fingernail around on the inside of that and feel a, a lip all the way which you can. So now we're good to go, so now we'll bronze it up. Right, to do the bronzing I'm going to use my LPG unit. This is the, uh, the only LPG uh, gas unit that I've ever come across that really properly uh, hard bronze brazes um, just on standard LPG gas without oxygen or anything. And uh, yeah, it's a bullfinch uh, Auto torch, um, it's a model 4100 handle with a 4104 uh, tip on it, which uh, is basically made for hard bronze brazing. A lot of these guns that are sold say, oh, they're brazing guns, but they're not really any good for hard bronze or general GP bronze, general purpose bronze, because the flame is not concentrated enough. It has to be very, very concentrated to get the heat, and this is as hot as or hotter than. Uh, map gas. So uh, for 20 bucks worth of gas in that big LPG cylinder, that'll last me four or five hours uh, running, whereas for 20 bucks on a map gas bottle you'll get 15 minutes. So ha, these things are enormously cheaper to run and they do a better job in my opinion. Alright, that's what we'll be using. Right, to do this job we'll be using standard 2.2mm uh, GP hard bronze rod. Now, well, this is the, probably the best size to use for a small torch like I've got. Um, the bigger, bigger rod, isn't, the next size up isn't as nice to use. You can control this rod nicely. You notice it's not pre-fluxed. I don't really like pre-flux rods because you can't control how much flux you're putting on. Uh, once you flux the, the surface, flux the job, you don't need to add more, more flux. It's just more mess. So 
I like to just use a standard old pink Easy 303 flux. Uh, it's just standard flux to use for ox here or anything. And uh, plain rod, 2.2, and you're good to go. Now when you do this, of course, with LPG you haven't got as much heat as with oxy by a, a long stretch, so you've got to try and conserve heat. So you want to try and insulate your, uh, your job from its surroundings. Of course, you don't want to go heat, heating up on your vice. It's not going to improve it. So this lap is a, a basic insulator. And we'll mount our job. I'll come in closer and you can see how I, uh, how I go about doing this job. Right, we're good to go. Everything's set up nicely, everything's clean. There so, we go. Flux our rod. Now we'll preheat the job. This will take a little while. The beauty of this is no warpage. If you use electric, well, you've got possibility of it warping. And as you can see on the back, by putting that little lip uh, around your job, slightly um, reducing it, there's no bronze flow through um, onto the other side of the job. So all the bronzing is on the back where you won't see it. 
and once we clean this side up, just uh, machine it off flat, job's done. Coat of paint, ready to go. Right, I'll just put this under the tap, cool it down, and as you can see, it's done a nice, a perfect job on the outside, you'd never know it was welded. Um, and uh, in this case we're working with 2 mil, two mil, mil thick tubing, that's about 50 mil diameter, and 3.2 mil steel plate, and it did it quite quite well. So that was uh, that's the sort of job the bullfinch can handle quite nicely. And we are in the middle of winter; it's um, it's only a I don't know 13 degrees today in Adelaide. So uh, yeah, all I do now is clean up the back, uh, go over it with a wire buff, and uh, get it ready for the next stage of the job. All right, I'll finish her off. There's our job. It's uh, face back, and as you can see, the bronze is just in that round in that little recess we put it. A little bit of discolouring inside, but that's nothing much. So that's how you do it, and uh, it does a nice, strong, good-looking job every time. So there you go. That's uh, bronze all the way around and it's just a matter of now of uh, do the rest of the job and as I said that'll be on the back side you won't see that anyway so that's the uh, beauty of bronzing no ugly welds and uh, okay you can do the same thing with arc I suppose but it would burn it around quite a lot and uh, yeah I just like bronzing it's such a, uh, a nice medium to use and it can do uh, very very light work uh, without uh, eating it away. Okay, that's it. Bit of an interesting thing to look at and uh, I hope you uh, got a few clues out of it. Okay, see you next time. Cheers.